What's up guys, so we're going to be installing these Rogue Engineering Transmission Mounts in my BMW 335i over here. This DIY will apply to basically any BMW from anywhere from the late 70s to now. They all use the exact same style transmission mount. Basically the stock ones look like this, but they have more of an hourglass shape to them. They're a little less, uh, less uh, black than these, are more gray in color. Uh, but they all basically use the same transmission mount. There are a few exceptions of course, I believe the E90 M3 has a different style for the DCT. But I'm not actually sure on that one as well, it could be the same. Um, that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. It is virtually the same process for all these BMWs. You know, the only difference is going to be uh, the transmission bracket might be a little bit different, but overall it's the same. Some of you may be wondering why my car looks this disgusting right now with this terrible, terrible uh, finish on the wrap. Well, it's because the vinyl is actually failing from UV damage, it seems. So I will be changing this very soon. Um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll be unwrapping this car, making a video about that. I'll do it myself and also be wrapping it myself after that, which will be fun as well. There'll be a full video on the channel about that. It'll be my first time wrapping a car, so I'm not really expecting it to turn out, you know, the best in the world, but it should be better than this. And that's all I can ask for. And then after that, I'll wrap the E39. But for now, let's get back to the trans mounts. And here we are below the car, guys, for some perspective. That's the uh, driver's side over there, and this is right there below the car. This is the back of the transmission, and here is the bracket that actually holds the mounts. So you can see there's one of the stock mounts right there. It's kind of having a hard time focusing, but believe me, it's there. We have this bracket, which has four 13 millimeter bolts that keep it in place. There's one on, uh, two on each side, and you can see it's kind of hidden by this plastic piece. Now, you're gonna see something really gross right now, which is my plastic under panels for my car. Yes, they're zip tied together in some places because they are damaged. <laughs> yeah, I need to go find a junkyard and uh, pick up a bunch of new panels of this car. All the other ones are just messed up for some reason. that I need to replace them all or get rid of them all. Either way, not a concern right now. They're actually be holding in place somehow, um, despite looking like this. But don't worry about it. No, just don't worry about it. It's fine. So we're gonna take those off, the ones at least in the way, which for me is just this one back panel over here. And then uh, also might want to remove the one in front of it, the one below the main belly pan, just because you're going to want to have an access to uh, put a jack below the trans to kind of lift it up to so take pressure off this mount, this brace. So we're going to do that right now. And then once we're there, uh, we can remove this whole thing. You can see I've removed one of the bolts, in fact, all four bolts from the transmission bracket. The only thing holding the transmission up right now is actually the jack you can see in a second. It's holding the trans below. Um, I usually use a two by four piece of rubber to keep it in place. Next up, you can see we have the trans mounts themselves. Uh, there's also a 30 millimeter bolt on top of them, which will loosely come off, as well as one below them. The lower 13 is in the trans bracket itself. Here's the old cracked up transmission mount with about 115,000 miles on it. And then here we have the new Rogue Engineering mount on the left side, the solid rubber you can see there. A little divot on the bottom of the mount will face the divot on the transmission mount. And then uh, you can see I put the nut loosely on the top of it. Um, and I'm going to put the bottom one on as well, just keep it in place before we put the transmission bracket back on the car. You can see now I've got the nut on the bottom there, kind of loosely in place, not super tight yet, just to get them kind of settled. And then we're going to slide on the bracket back on to the transmission. And uh, now you can get below the car and tighten everything up. It really is as simple as just sliding it back on. It is pretty simple. And then you can tighten up the bolts, the four bolts on the sides first, and then the transmission mounts themselves, what I would do personally, and tighten them all to 13 foot pounds of torque. That really is all you have to do to install transmission mounts in your car. Took the car for a drive right after, and the mounts felt fantastic. A lot more direct shifting and a lot less play. Um, and also no more NVH, which is a very pleasant surprise. As poly mounts tend to have a lot of NVH, but these ones don't. 